How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel Take and Make. I'm glad you're here. In this video we're gonna make first project on a milling machine that I reviewed in my previous video. If you guys didn't watch it I recommend you do so. Here is the link popping up on the screen. Also there is a link in the description. And our project going to be mini sledgehammer that we're gonna make from this massive piece of rebar. The diameter of this rebar is approximately one and three quarters of an inch. So I'm thinking to cut a piece maybe three or four inches long and then we're gonna face it, drill a hole in it and put it on a handle. Let's go ahead and do that. Not exactly sure why my bands are starting to cut crooked as hell. Okay, let's set it in a mill and face this side, that side, and go from there. That's it, one side done, looks good. Let's flip it around and face the other side. Okay guys, so I played around trying to set it flat and it just doesn't work. Such an awkward shape and it's not even perfect circle in a cross cut. So what I'm gonna have to do, I will face two sides longwise and then I would be able to clamp it in a wise straight and then when I face my sides, when I stand it upright, they're gonna be through. That's a lot of chips. This one and five eighths face mill works like a charm, man. Finish is nice, piece is not hot at all. Let's flip it other way around and do same amount of passes I did on this side. I'm gonna put two parallels on the bottom. This way I won't mill my vice. Alright, I milled second side. Let's take a look. Looks really nice. Like I said, this rebar is not perfect round shape, so you can see some misalignment here, but nothing too crazy. Now we should be able to set it in wise just like this and face our two sides, make that square. Now I'm gonna set torpedo level on top. It is not precision level, but it'll do it. Boom! Hey guys, so our hammer is mostly ready. I was debating how to situate the handle, having hammer this way or this way. I really like the look of the rebar to be on the side of the sledgehammer. So we're gonna drill a hole through this side and set it on a handle. Some of you may expect me to make a handle, but I happen to have one on my hands, so I'm just gonna use it. If you disagree, you're more than welcome. Hate me down below in the comments if you like. All right, let's apply some marking fluid on the hammer. 
lay it out and get to drilling. All right guys, half inch, two flute end mill ready to fight. Wish me luck. Whoa. Let's take a look. Look at that. It isn't perfect, but <laughs> considering the thickness of this material and that I was doing it for the first time, that ain't too bad. Nice. So the handle, not quite the fit, but it's good. <laughs> it's good that the handle is bigger than the hole, because I can grab a rasp and just shape it a little bit, which is not a biggie. While this head in the vise, I also want to hit the rebar sides with wire wheel, get it nice and clean. Shiny. The real question is, guys, you think my wife will notice that I stole her scale? I hope not. The question is, how heavy is this mini sledge? What? No way. Almost perfect two pounds. Sheesh. I didn't aim for anything in particular and turns out I made a perfect two pound sledge. Who would have thought? Before we put it on a handle, I want to blacken this. So I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol and we'll wipe all fingerprints from it. For better results, yeah, you gotta use gloves. It's not gonna stay on face of the hammer, but we'll do it anyway. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna hit it with wire wool. It's not like super black, but what's more important, all hammer has a consistent shade. Let's work on the handle now. Almost. Now it should fit no problem. Of course I gonna burn this handle. But before I wanna remove some of this locker. Now we get brass wire brush and brush it. Look at this chocolatey color. Yeah, baby. Let's cut the excess. We'll leave like a quarter inch and then we'll drive our wedges in. Final touch, you guys. Couple steel wedges. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Two pound sledge. All right, guys. Final stage. We're gonna put some Danish oil on it. You guys ready for final reveal? <laughs> Me too. Man, this hammer is almost too nice to use.
All right, guys, this is gonna conclude our video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and consider a subscription to my channel. There's gonna be lots of interesting content in the future. That's it for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.